in wild. The Seahawks travel to Lambeau this week after losing their season opener on the road against the Rams. Since 2012, Seattle is 6-8 and eight when running the ball on less than 40% of plays and 30-5 and five when running at least 40% of the time. Seattle only managed 17 points from its offense, and even Marshawn Lynch's mom is getting fired up about their play calling. Listen to this. She posted this on Facebook. You don't want to get mama mad. To the smart, expletive media who wrote, that's why Marshawn didn't get the ball in the Super Bowl, how many times did Russell Wilson get sacked yesterday? Don't worry, I'll wait on the answer. Plus, it was totally different at the Super Bowl. The line was better then. Yesterday, no blocking into the offense caller who should have been fired. Yes, I said it, fired. He's the worst play caller ever. The only reason he called that dumb expletive play yesterday is to be able to justify the one yard that wasn't called in the Super Bowl, but most fans already figured this out. We're still on a mission, but I know the Seahawks staff loves that play caller more than a win. Go figure. Hashtag NFL. Don't pay me. I will love this team and will stand up to anybody who tries to destroy it. Boom. Skip. Boom. Should Lynch be held responsible for his mother's comments? Leave it to mom and have your back, right? Stephen A., yes, he should be. You and I often disagree on how to use this thing called Twitter or Facebook or Instagram or whatever else you're Insta -face. using. Instaface. Insta as Bill Belichick says. <laughs> Instaface. That's what oh, he okay. called it. I don't know. Okay. So this is just my two cents on this one. I believe that Marshawn Lynch should be called on the carpet by his superiors for what his mom posted on Facebook. Again, here's the guy who won't speak to the media and you could take a leap to a conclusion of he's letting his mom speak for him, even though he may not have any control over what his mom says. But in this day and age, I believe that any player or any coach or any executive must be held accountable and responsible for what anyone close to them posts on any form of social media. Because clearly and obviously, those close to you have inside information. It's more probable than not that they could be influenced by your private opinions that you express only to them that they then express via social media to the world. Can't do it, can't have it, it's too close to home. If I were John Schneider, the GM of the Seahawks, I would be furious over this. If I were Pete Carroll, I'd be furious, and especially if I were Daryl Bevel, against whom this shot was leveled, I, I would be furious about this. I, want, I would want Marshawn somehow punished for this. I think he should be fined for this. You must be held responsible for what she says because she clearly might be speaking for you. I don't know that for a fact, but, but I have to assume that she was influenced by what you have told her behind closed doors that she then expressed to the world. And again, the larger picture here is the, the Seahawks are teetering already. We know there's trouble in paradise. And I believe this will only pour more gasoline on the bonfire that is building of dissension in that locker room. And I'll end my little soliloquy with a little private note here. You know Ernestine, my Ernestine. She has wanted to be on Twitter for the last two years. She is more opinionated than I am. And she is definitely more knee-jerk opinionated than I am. And I just flat out say, no, you are not going to join Twitter. You're not going to have your own Twitter site because I would be held accountable by you hitting send in your all your anger and passion <laughs> spilling over about something that somebody said about me that I don't even care about. So I don't want to be held accountable for that my dear, my darling. So no, you're not going to be on Twitter because you would be hitting send, send, send. And I would go down, down, down. Sorry. You got a good woman. Yeah. Well, first of all, well, first of all, let me confirm for the masses as somebody who loves himself some Ernestine, <laughs> who knows her very, very well. I can confirm and completely concur. You can. That she, you have a lady 
who is actually more opinionated than you. She is. If you can believe it. That's the only she reason. Asked, you're you're, you're you know, telling the absolute right. truth in every way. Ernestine is more opinionated than Skip Bayless. That is the absolute truth. And, and by the way, that's the only reason I wouldn't want you to give up your phone if the NFL were investigating you because there are a few texts from <laughs> Ernestine in there yes. I would not want to yes. be made public. That just is, for the record. That is absolutely <laughs> true. He's in, yes. Molly, he is telling the truth. She's a New Trust Yorker, me, right? telling the truth. She is. She is. Ernestine is. Ernestine is. Is no joke. Mm -hmm. I'm here to tell you. But Skip Bayless, back to your point. Your opinion on this matter is asinine, but forgivable. Mm. And allow me to explain. Okay. It is forgivable, Skip Bayless, because you're not a black man, which means you don't have a black mama. Because let me tell you something about I can't speak for anybody. I can't speak for, 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 for other folks. But every person that I know who is black, that has a mama who is black, I assure you, you don't get to tell them what to do. <laughs> it does not happen, okay. Skip Bayless. You can suggest, you can tell them, no, I don't want this, but like control them? Oh no, Skip Bayless. Mamas run the show forever. I I'm trying to tell you right now, it, 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 that's just the way it works. I go home to Queens, I still got to take out the garbage, and Skip Bayless, as much as I'm getting on the air, I'm getting on you on the air, I raise my voice to my mother one decibel. I got a problem. The first thing she says is, she don't even sit there and bring up the facts. She steps up. Who do you think you're talking to? <laughs> and it changes everything. And I shut down because she's mama. That's the way it goes. Now to Marshawn Lynch. I have no doubt that Marshawn Lynch has told his mother what he told, what, what, what she mm -hmm. conveyed. Maybe not about Daryl Bevel, but certainly about the play calling, because I happen to know for a fact that Marshawn Lynch had a problem with not being handed the football from the half yard line with 20 seconds left in Super Bowl 49 to deliver the Seattle Seahawks a second consecutive Super Bowl championship. I happen to know for a fact that there are players inside that locker room in Seattle who believes that Coach Pete Carroll and possibly offensive coordinator Daryl Bevel wanted Russell Wilson to be the hero instead of Marshawn Lynch, mm -hmm. and that had a lot to do with the play calling. I happen to know for a fact that as we speak right here, right now, whether it be Cam Chancellor who's holding out or players on the team who support him and his position against the Seattle Seahawks, they are of the mindset that his manhood has come into question. I'm told that Cam Chancellor has told other individuals that Snyder, the GM, looked him in the face and said, we ain't doing anything for you this year, next year, or the year after. You're stuck. Deal with it. And spoke to him in a fashion that, dare I say, challenged Cam Chancellor's manhood. Mm -hmm. I happen to know for a fact that Cam Chancellor has told other people that Pete Carroll has signed off on that kind mm -hmm. of attitude that has been aimed in his direction. I happen to know for a fact that Marshawn Lynch is aware of this. He's highly offended by it, and it's not something that he would tolerate. So it's, it, 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 it's, it's more probable than not that mm -hmm. Marshawn Lynch, in one of those moments where he's expressing himself, because there ain't a black man worth his salt that doesn't express himself to his mama. Now, I'm here to tell you. I have, I, it, it's easy to surmise that Marshawn Lynch told his mama that. Now, to your point. So what? You going to tell me he can't talk to his mother now? Now, you could go to your mama and say, don't do that again, please, because that puts your son in a bad spot, mom. So I need you not to do that. You can do that. But it ain't like you can control what she does from open and tap and basically assume what she's going to do or whatever. Mamas don't work that way. You can know them and know every action that they'll take and they'll still throw a monkey wrench into your game plan from time to time. Why? Because they're mama. That's why she's mama. And you a GM or you the coach and you're going to punish Marshawn Lynch because of what his mother said? Skip, that is the most laughable thing you have ever said in the history of First Take. And, and, you, and you said a lot of things that are laughable. They're supposed to go to Marshawn Lynch, that brother. Yes. That brother, That's Marshawn Lynch. That's what I'm Lynch, saying, and I'm going to say it again. punish him 
for what his mama said? Yes. You want to talk about mutiny? You want to see a point where the players stand up and rise up in unison against the entire NFL? You think this Tom Brady stuff was ridiculous? You go ahead and try to punish this man for what his mama said. So I'm a football player in the NFL, and you're trying to tell me that you're going to punish me. I can understand you having a problem with it. I can understand you're not liking it. You're going to punish me because my mama said something. Good luck with that. Okay. Good luck. Okay. I'd love to see them do it. It I, would be comical. I respect immensely everything you just said about mamas. I feel the same way you do. And I do not disagree that her opinion expressed very publicly is valid. I, I believe it is valid. But that's not the point. You actually are making my case because she is his mama and she does sometimes speak for Marshawn, who doesn't often speak publicly. That's more and more reason to hold him accountable because clearly she is expressing an opinion that he more probably than not has shared with her. She's expressing and speaking his mind on this matter. I, you know it and I know it. And I believe the Seahawks brass knows it. So what good did this do the Seattle Seahawks? No, no, no. good. No good. It only no, made whoa, whoa, it worse. Whoa, whoa. No, I am in no way refuting the veracity of your comments. I completely agree with you that it's probably something he told his mom. I completely agree with you that the Seahawks should be upset about it. Where we part ways as wide as the Pacific Ocean is when you say he should be punished. I'm saying, do you understand the magnitude of such an action that you would punish a player for yes. what his mama, a grown woman who made her decision sure. to, to, to say something about it, you're going to punish a grown man for what his mama yes, said? absolutely. Excuse me, excuse me. I didn't recall you saying that Tom Brady should be punished for what his wife Giselle said I would a say few that years she ago said when they lost. Out of when, bounds. Hold on. She did say something out of bounds when she was going off about fans when they were going off about the New England Patriots. And I don't she think that's said, out of bounds. Some, hold on. She, she didn't said, criticize somebody Belichick. Can, or, no, right? she, she criticized his teammates. She said, can somebody catch the damn ball? Oh, okay. I mean, that's my car. Does, right. you said, so what no, I'm saying? I, I so think, what I'm saying, I think what, he should be fine for that. I don't remember no, the comment be. exactly. That's ridiculous. That's it. Listen, he should go home and tell his lovely, beautiful wife, look, I need you to chill because this puts me in a bad light. But keep in mind, Skip Bayless, your woman is entirely different than your mama. You can sit there and tell your woman something, even that's dicey, but you can get away with telling your woman some things. You can't tell your mama. You can't tell your mama. Mama, be quiet. You, you can ask, but you're going to punish him for what his mother, who is a grown woman, yeah. decided to do on her own? Yeah. That's ridiculous. That's the most because asinine she is thing a you've ever woman, said. And it's she ridiculous. has the ability to not hit sin. And you have to well, explain the, the, to her. You're right. No, the, you're right you're about that. You're speaking for a son. You're, you're right about that. But the issue is the punishment. The pun to punish Marshawn Lynch. Yeah. You can't do that. You I, can't I, but do I, that. I'm not, I'm not just singling out Marshawn Lynch. I'm saying anybody who has anyone close to them speak for them via Twitter, Facebook, anything but he social did media. But he he, did you not. have to be held he accountable. Did. I, I am saying to you, he did not. If he if he went to his mama and told her to post something on Facebook, you'd have that. a point. No, if she, exactly. But so you have she to did tell it on her. She own. just can't. I, I would All say, right, you can tell mom. That. No, it's over. I would say you and cannot you know go back on Facebook anymore. And, and, except and to, I, I, hold on, let's end the segment this way. And if your mother ignored you and did it anyway, what would you do? I, I'd still hold That's the player the accountable. Issue. It's up to you to no, control that. No, 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 no. I, I asked you, what would you do if your mother didn't listen to you? What you going to do? If Other than not tell her. To me, Other than not tell her anything. What problem. are you going to do? Would you apologize to yeah, his I would man or your I, I would apologize yep. for what she okay, wrote. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. All I'm saying is that's about all, all you can do is apologize and not tell her anything related to the Seahawks. You can't make her do something. She's a grown woman.
What's the matter with you? Well, that's she the can point. Do what she wants. You're, you're making my she's, case. She, she's, she's not his daughter. She's his mother, right? She, she, she's, she's not, not like she eight can't years do old. What she wants. You can't make her do something, and you can't punish him for what a grown woman who happens to be his mother decides to do. What's the matter with you? You can't Nothing. do that. I'm right. That's what's the matter with oh, me. Oh, gosh. Yes, yes, yes. You, 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 you drink, you spiked your dag on Diet Mountain Dew. No, That's I did what you not. Done. I need something some more in it. Of check it. it. I the need to protect Antoine Bryant. Okay. Somebody check his drink. Something wrong with you. Just caffeine. Something is wrong That's with you. That's all in there. No, please. You, just, you threw something up in there. Yeah. I don't know if it's, it's stevia or something. Something wrong. Uh -oh. Something wrong. Stevia, the healthy go tell, sugar. Go tell mama what to do. Riveting conversation, gentlemen. Polar opposites. I get both ends of the spectrum. I'm just thankful none of my family is on Twitter. I think we did the wrong call. My mother would never do it. The wrong... My mother would never do it. Now, my mother would never. Not in a million years. But it's because she chooses to. Not because I order her not to. She's my mother. Got She's it. the boss, not me. I think we messed up the call to action, Marcus. We need one on this. I agree. What, what do people think? Should Marshawn be in trouble here? Something wrong with Skip. Mm. Moving Something on, though.